Let's create a new document. There's a couple of ways that you can create a new document within the Top Solid 7 interface. The first is to come to the New Document section of the Start page. Here you see one of six choices, Part, Machining, Assembly, and so on. All I need to do is double click on the type of document that I want to create and Topsot will do the rest. Also a fun fact about this portion of the dialog, these icons will change dynamically based on the types of documents you create the most of. Let's try creating a part document, so I'll do that again by double click. When I get that, TopSolid wants me to select a template. In this case, I'm going to choose blank template and green check mark to validate. Finally, up here on the right, it's waiting for me to give the file a name. So I'll call it widget. Perfect. Like that, I've created a new file. Now, another way to create a new file is to go to your home tab up top on the left and hit the new document command. Now when I click the new document command, a new window appears and here I have access to all of the file types that TopSolid can create. In this case again, I'll create a part file. Green check mark and just like before it puts it in my active project. It is important to understand that you must have a project first in order to create any documents. Now there is one more way to create a new file in TopSolid. And that way is to go to the project in question, and you can either right click on the project name up here and choose what you want, or you could create a folder first. Call it parts, why not? And then right click there and choose part. And again, give it a name and you're ready to go. The last and probably most important thing to do after you create any new information in TopSolid is hit save. And you can do this by either hitting the Windows hotkey, Control plus S, or coming up here and hitting the save button.